Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. Spring is here and I'm excited that my flowers are starting to come out of the ground. Soon they will start blooming and not long after the pollinators will start showing up. One of my favorite pollinators is the monarch butterfly. So this week I decided to try painting one using watercolors and ink. I started my painting by creating a background using diluted blue. And once that layer was dry, I started to add some pink color to my paper to create some flowers. I started watercolor painting about a year ago when the pandemic hit. It was a way for me to be creative while not investing a lot of time in what I was doing because I really didn't have a lot of time at that point. I wanted something to help me release some stress and also use up my creative energy. For the most part, I'm a self-taught artist. Over the years, as I started painting, I've learned a lot by observing others and trying to recreate some artwork that I liked. For me, a big part of the learning process happens in experimentation. As I'm creating these videos, this is what I'm trying to encourage. I want people to feel free to pick up some art supplies and experiment with them to see what they like and what they can discover about their own creative talents. In creating this painting, I'm working very intuitively. Last year, my father in love sent me this beautiful card for my birthday and I'm using the image from this card as a reference photo for my monarch in this painting. Aside from the flower the monarch is resting on, everything else in the painting is something I've come up with in my mind. This is one example of how you can borrow from an image to create a bigger piece of art. Painting or creating can just be as simple or as complicated as you really want it to be. But to make it fun, I like to keep it pretty simple. Now I'm starting to add some of the markings that make the monarch butterfly so distinguished. Before adding black to my butterfly's wings, it was really important that I waited until the orange was completely dry. Watercolors are fun and easy to work with if you can remember a few simple principles. For one, if you want to blend your colors, the easiest way to do so is by working wet on wet, meaning that all of your layers are still wet when you're adding complementary colors. When you don't want your colors to blend, it's important to work on dry layers of paint before adding new colors. going over the surface of most of my painting with a wet brush to start blurring some of the leaves a little bit. While the surface is still wet, I add some splashes of gold to add a little bit of shimmer. Here I've decided to add some more leaves in the foreground of my painting. To create this effect, I use paint that has, is less diluted and I carefully select areas where I can overlay some more leaves on top of the other leaves.
a white pen to start adding some little doodles and details to my painting. Now I'm using the same white pen to add some more of the Monarch Butterfly's regal markings. Having my reference photo handy is really helpful for this part. I find doodling can add a lot of whimsy to a watercolor painting, so I pulled out my black pen and I'm starting to trace some of the outlines of the leaves that I've put in. And I'm going to add a few more little doodles for some interesting details. Finally, I added some finishing touches and I decided that my painting was complete. Using a hairdryer or a heat tool can help remove the tape from your paper without ripping it. But you have to be very careful. If you heat the tape too much, it will stick to your paper and tear it. And there you have it. The painting is complete. I had a lot of fun creating it and I hope you enjoyed watching my video. Thank you again for joining me on this journey. Have a wonderful week and happy creating!